Horses in the runway again. Ah! Oh. There you go. <laughs> That'll get him out of the way. <laughs> January 1st, 2010. 2010. Today we're doing some rocket launching. Run! We got the rocket crew here. We got a six wheeler over there. Going to be for later activities. And somebody will get hurt. Somebody will get hurt, virtually guaranteed. Bye. All right, fish man, come here. This is the kind fish of disruptive Bye. activity that happens in the middle of our runway here. Uh oh. You never know when a horse is going to run by and trample us. See, that hooks on like that. Fisher, when that, and that one looks like that. So now you have to push this in and hold it. I want to see you do that. Okay, okay, let off. Okay, now when you're ready, you push that in and hold it, and push that down and hold it until this thing goes, okay? Ready, ready for the rocket. Are you gonna have to be back here? Do we have to count down? Fisher's getting yeah. ready for the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa! Where'd it go? Right there! Oh, yeah! yeah! Wow! Awesome! Go man, go! Yeah, we it's got a parachute way. malfunction. Oh, <laughs> Is that fence hot? Probably. Watch, be careful of the fence, Fisher. That may be electric. Parachute malfunction. Caught by the fence. Saved by the fence. Well, that was pretty cool. It's pretty fun. You got refills for that, or is got that one more? One more. Yeah. Well, this morning we came out here, and Tom found this gigantic four-point deer antler in the middle of the runway. Just. Shows you the kind of obstacles we're dealing with around here in the Ozarks where we fly our airplanes. It's a very big obstacle, very dangerous. If you didn't see it, didn't find it. This is that muddy water line trench that's still kind of rough, bumpy. And this is the 700 foot runway slopes downhill. Brian, Fisher, and Tom are getting their six wheeler off the truck there while I take a spin around in my kid fox. There's some horses loose up here, and uh, hopefully they'll stay out of my way. But they're up here, they're kind of afraid of the fireworks and the other stuff that's been going on. So I think they'll stay up here. And I've got my preheater going on the Kit Fox this morning because it's pretty cold. It was, oh, about 17 degrees this morning when we got up. It's probably up in the mid 20s, high 20s now. You can see what I use for a preheater. It's not fancy, but it's effective. Take the cowl off and. Uh, You can see it's a very expensive Wonder Wind 1250 hair dryer. Just a cool engine compartment, and it works quite effectively. As you can see from my thermometer in here, it's about about 80 degrees inside there, which is plenty warm. No worries on that. That warms the oil up. It's been sitting in here for about an hour. Want to get the oil warm because it'll be less wear and tear on the engine starting it up than if it were 15 degrees. <laughs> 